No, they don't need a cold opener. I, I, I'm a little like rusty. I've never sat so close oh, yeah. to you to do it like. Uh, or, uh, it's been uh, years since we did it. Come I know. On. You're gonna, gonna get rained on. Oh yeah, sorry. Oh okay. Then we're right. gonna get rained on. Oh, okay. We fine, have to fine. do this. I know it we're is, rusty. Is, we is. haven't had a lot of good preparation. And we've grown. We have a sport boy as well today, so that's good. Okay. Okay. We can do this. Okay. Let's get on with the show. Okay. Welcome to the good, the bad, the ridiculous, and we're together again. We are back. like we are actually. Yeah, we're really together again. Um, yeah, we're here. We're here in Brisbane. Uh, we've gone through a lot to get here, and we've had a lot of issues as well, like everyone has with doing anything technical and broadcasty from Brisbane. Uh, so this is why we're here in a little makeshift way, but. Uh, I don't know, let's just get on with it, dude. Yeah, I just realized I'm a little too cleavagey, so I'll just fix that and you can. <laughs> <laughs> hey, give give the uh, give the ladies what they want. Really? Is that what they want? <laughs> or don't. Okay, yeah. Sorry. Mm. All right. <laughs> didn't see it. Uh, nomination from DM Rifat, who says, uh, Good Labashane, bad Jack Leach and Roots captaincy, ridiculous Travis Head's counter attack bit in there. Yeah, sure. I thought Manus was uh, looking good for a for a big score. But he was the only, he's actually the only batter over the last two days who's looked in very little trouble. Uh, yes, he was playing on his home ground. He has a great record here. Just from the moment he came on, he was judging his leaves well. He was picking length well. I thought he was in for a big knock. Uh, but yeah, and then um, everything just turned around and come to the ridiculous suggestion Travis Head happened. I've seen him play some Pretty ridiculous knocks in uh, shield cricket and uh, across formats, and that is the umbrella. You better get that one as well. Quick, then there's one oh, next yeah, to you. Oh yeah, yeah. We've got lots of umbrellas. We have to cover that one. Uh, Jeff yeah. Lemon. Jeff Lemon is here as official umbrella He's, holding. Uh, 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 Jeff Lemon is earning his grade. If he does this job well, you might see him on this show at some point in yeah. a little cameo role. We but that will only happen later. And the guy who I think has already played his cameo role and not done too well, unfortunately, is Jack Leach, who I, in my opinion, should have never played. He's not the kind of spinner who is, uh, it will be successful in Australia. And India showed what you could do with Jack Leach. You could go after him. At least there, the pitches had some grip and uh, he troubled the Indians. But here, ball was coming on and Davey won. I just took him apart. And then Travis Head made the most of it later on. So uh, I wouldn't say poor captaincy from Joe Root, but just, I think, shocking selection. And, and it was clear, isn't it, that Root is the best spinner in that team. In fact, huh. we've been discussing Jitin Patel. For sure. He's yeah. he's here. He's here with the team. Maybe he spent Did enough time in. Yeah, he spent I'm enough time in. If they could get Jofra yes. Archer to play, why not Jitin Patel? I, I think maybe Jitin Patel because I I fear for Leach. I fear for Leach uh, if they keep going with him because that was really bad today. It was, he's going for nearly ten and over. Yeah, I know. And and, uh, just it'll only get worse. So. It will only get worse. Uh, England are in a real bind when it comes to the spinner. Real bind. And Travis Head, yeah, absolutely ridiculous. He has said the word relaxed so many times in the past few days. He just did it again then afterwards. Uh, he is relaxed. And guess who was asking him about cutting <laughs> his hair? Let's just... Right. I yeah, was you got a century, mate, but... Why have you cut your hair? <laughs> Seriously? Yeah, I mean, like, he had this lovely mob going and that was bringing him a lot of success. So I thought he'll stick to it. I mean, I have for this long, but, well, looks like uh, maybe he yeah. didn't need it. But he did say that he's not getting another haircut for six months. We'll, we'll see. Anna Forsyth nominates Mitchell Stark looks ridiculous at the crease, like he's completely the wrong size and shape to be in a helmet holding a bat, but he can definitely strike the ball. How unfair is that? I think that, well, that's a ridiculous nomination. Yeah. But, well, I mean, this is a man who started off his, his cricket career as a wicket keeper. So if you think he looks ridiculous, I, mm. imagine him squatting down and, and keeping wicket. So I, I think basically Mitchell Stark is a ridiculous cricketer, no matter what he does. He bowls rid your ridiculous balls every now and again. I know there was massive debate about that first ball and whether or not it was a genius plan or Lucky or Rory Burns saying, hey, check out my leg stuff. Want a crack? <laughs> Maybe there was a bit of all of it in there. 
Yeah. I think it's a ridiculous family. Uh, and I'm not even talking about Ali Shahili and uh, Mitchell Stark's brother now, of course, an Olympian medalist. Uh, oops. I know, I've got little raindrops yeah, yeah, on my back. You, for the oh, the rest of the day, it's just been sweat trickling down my back. But now, sorry. Yeah, I didn't need to hear that, but yeah. But back sweat is great for shining the ball, I've heard. So maybe Mel could have a go at that. <laughs> okay. Broken cricket dreams. Cricket blog. Hello, guys. Says ridiculous. Woods beamer to heads, chin. Bad. Travis head batted a bit too slow, I reckon. Let's just strike one through there. Uh, good. Mark Woods workhorse like day. That's a bit of a worry, isn't it? You don't want to. You don't want to say, yeah, Mark Wood had a great workhorse kind of day because he's a real workhorse kind of bowler who never breaks down, and his whole job is just a. Bowl lots of overs, don't worry about being quick. Mm. Yeah, I mean, he's your impact bowler, so you wanted him to be used in short bursts and create an impact, which he did in that first four over burst. But then, because Ollie Robinson uh, got tired and Ben Stokes, I think, you know, his body, whatever injury he did suffer, whether it's knee or calf, we don't know. I don't think John Lewis, the bowling coach, knew. Uh, it did impact England's performance. And as a result, Mark Wood had to keep coming back. A, he did stay on his feet a lot more than he usually does. He didn't fall too much. Though there was this, no, one, there was was this wonderful appeal where he just fell down and he literally yeah. pleaded uh, with the umpire. But I, I, yeah, I mean, like um, Ollie Robinson, he gave it his all. Can he keep giving it his all is the big question. I don't think so, but uh, we'll wait and see. Mm, yeah, it's a, it's a bit of a worry and I'm not so sure. Uh, I would beam it ahead's chin. He says he's okay, by the way. He's more worried about his elbow, uh, back of his elbow, than he was about his head. Yeah, and just speaking of head, Chin, my greatest moment covering cricket came actually when Jeff Lemon and I were there in Worcester and tongue bowl to head, but I don't think that's ever going to be beat. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's quite weird. Harsha Retriever says, good head, delightful stroke play. We've got that in there. Uh, bad England team selection. You've already done that one. Uh, ridiculous Jack Leach economy. I've already done that one. Yeah. There's, they're, like, they're just good more on nominations. Point, Harsha, as always. We're there with you. Ash says, bad. The overrate by England, only 84 overs despite having an hour extra. I'm more, you know how I feel, don't you? I'm so happy that there are still those of you out there who really, really hate slow over rates. And hey, it means something now. I mean, I don't know if England are going to be pushing for the next. Uh... That doesn't help. Uh, I think that might be here to, to collect some of the England line. <laughs> <laughs> Could be, actually. Hopefully, it's not. Hopefully. <laughs> Uh, maybe their spirits, uh, their yeah. spirits did uh, seem a little broken by the end of the day. Uh, but I will say this about the order, it was terribly humid. It, uh, both the Australians and the English players have struggled, the fast bowlers in particular. Australia got away with it because England batted so poorly, they didn't have to bowl more than 50 overs. Uh, but I think it's going to be a, a case with Australia as well. If the England can dig in there, uh, even if they do lose this test match, they could make uh, create some inroads in terms of you know the Australian bowlers' fitness. Maybe they haven't, they haven't played too much test cricket, as we know, and these conditions aren't easy. They aren't easy, but what today did do? You can have a bad day with batting on day one. That can happen. That can happen any time. T today felt like a real soul crusher. Don't know. Might yeah. not happen, but it felt like a real soul crusher. We'll see. And I'm not talking about the soles of their feet. Danny Franklin. Hello, Danny. Nominates ridiculous. Bowling his second best batter while he has an obvious injury. Um, do you mean Joe Root? Second best batter. We have... The yeah, we both ben believe Stokes. that Ben Stokes is the best batter in, uh, in the England side. I know Root has had a great year. But I think overall, all round, when it comes to batting, I think Ben Stokes, forget about the average and all that he is. Uh, but yeah, it was painful to see Ben Stokes bowl of four, uh, four steps towards the end. He's clearly struggling. Uh, we don't know how bad it is. And uh, I'll tell you what, the rain is getting really bad for Mel. We'll quickly talk about the umpires and call it a day. Yeah, I think we're going to have to. Okay, so yes, that, uh, yes. Um, okay, and Ravi Baya says, heard the no ball spotting mechanism broke down. An opportunity to get more umpires in the game. Four line umpires in line with the two pop increases. Borrow telephoto lens from photographers at venue. Every no ball to be signaled with a red flag raised at the boundary rope. 
I'm kind of down with all of that. One thing I will say, honestly, the number of people who tried to tell me on Twitter that was really, really easy to just like point a camera and at, at the crease and, and I know there, there are four cameras. I've got to this, this ICC sanctioned system. They've got four cameras, two at each end uh, for each crease. And they've got, and they're all basically they use infrared technology. They're all ingested into this box that emits a signal that tells the umpire. It's not a simple system. And also they don't have spare cameras lying around up here with spare feeds, spare EVS, the, which is the replay machine. This whole test, it's a miracle that it's being broadcast. People don't understand how difficult it's been to get every piece of equipment and every specialist operator into this state. And it's being done, it's, it's amazing. If there are technical problems in the broadcast of this test, a lot of it is due to that. It's been a Herculean effort to actually just get it to happen. So piece of equipment, the system arrives, it doesn't work. Look, that's it. And, and the umpires have just not been, we were saying, they've been, not been used to looking for no balls, I guess, for a long time. Obviously, when you go two and a half years, your whole rhythm is broken and umpiring is all about you keep your head still, you move with your eyes. And for two and a half years, even if you've done it all your life, you suddenly, uh, it's like a one, two, three step routine, right? You look at the popping trees, you look at the danger area and then at the batsman at the other end or the batting end, top of off generally. But that's not been happening. So it's a very difficult thing. Hashtag respect the umpires and I don't know anything about broadcasting stuff so I can tell you that I've been struggling with the Wi-Fi that's the only issue I've had so far. <laughs> yeah, I, I can tell you that it's, it's a complicated setup. But look, we're here and that's the main thing. Oh my gosh, you that's can see lightning the lightning the behind us. Um, Jeff thank, Lemon is protecting us Thank the you lightning. to Jeff Lemon. He is our protector up above us holding two umbrellas. What a guy. What a guy. And oh, nominations. I have to do drum roll. Oh. It is time for the goodest thing of the day. And the goodest thing of the day is this game is moving very quickly and it should be over tomorrow and I'll get, I'll, I'll get two days off to um, have a drink with Jeff Lemon finally. We'll buy him a drink. Okay. One? Okay. Well, it, it'll be a big drink. Oh, okay, fair enough. He's a, oh, he's, he's a, a big guy. It's yeah. a big man. He's like Cameron Green. Okay, time for the baddest thing of the day. Hey! <laughs> On a serious note, I think Ollie Robinson and uh, Mark Wood deserved some more support from their fielders and uh, yeah. maybe some of the other bowlers. Chris Wokes, I thought, was a little disappointing with the lengthy bowl. Uh, Rory Burns' catch was a shocker. David Warner, just after lunch, could have really like you know, lifted England. Uh, opened the door, uh, which they did eventually open before Travis head kind of shut it on their face. Uh, yeah, poor Hasib Amin later in the day, not concentrating. Uh, yeah, I mean, Hasib Amin for someone so young is a shocker in the field. I, I'm always worried about him. So, uh, England let themselves down even when there were opportunities to, you know, make a match of it. And it is now time, the big moment for the ridiculous thing of the day. is Travis Head, I think, uh, and this, the fact that we have uh, uh, a sport boy really, uh, not just, uh, he's been the star of the show, I must say. Maybe we should uh, have Jeff Lemon on camera. <laughs> yeah, that is the most ridiculous thing ever. And also, uh, like Travis Head, uh, Jeff Lemon hasn't gotten a haircut in the last six months. Hopefully he doesn't for the next six months, but that's the show. Thank you for joining us. <laughs> So thank you for all our nominations, yeah. We're gonna get out of here because it's about to dump on us. We'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>